Hello everyone. Once again, welcome to PM Networking. Hope you all are doing great. Guys, today in this video, we are going to discuss NetFlow. As you know, NetFlow is a Cisco proprietary protocol uh, which provides network visibility and traffic monitoring capability. It allow network administrator to collect and analyze information about network traffic passing through routers, switches and firewall. So here you can see in my topology, I am going to configure NetFlow on router number one on R1. Okay, guys, first of all, let me make you familiar with this topology. As you can see, I have router one and router one is connected with ISP and this router is connected with one switch and through this switch we have some computers and we have one NetFlow server as well over here. So actually NetFlow is used to collect network traffic. Like I want that whatever traffic is passing from router number one, that traffic should be should be the router one should be sent those traffic to this NetFlow server so we can achieve that or what I want that I want to analyze who is top talker in my network let's say there as there are 100 user and out of 100 user one user is sending more traffic to 8.8.8 to internet let's say PC one is sending more traffic to 8.8.8 it. So I want to find the who is top talker, who is sending more traffic from my LAN network to outside or to router number one. So we can analyze that also through NetFlow. So in this video, I am going to show you each and everything, all, all configuration guys. And if you want to collect the information on the server, so you have server as well. You can collect all network traffic on this server as well. So without wasting our time, let's begin. First of all, let me show you that these users are able to ping 8.8.8 or not. You know, I am running PAT on router number one for reachability between 8.8.8 and my LAN user. I'm running on loopback 8.8.8 on ISP router. And in my LAN, I am running IP address from 192.168.10.0 slash 24 network. So let me take you on any PC on PC2 and let me check that this PC is able to ping 8.8.8 or not. So yes, you can see this PC is able to ping 8.8.8. Now on router number one, I have not configured anything about NAT flow, but I have configured the NAT pad over here. So run section IP NAT. You can see I am running pad over here. That's why LAN user are able to ping 8.8.8. Here I am going to configure the NAT flow now. So is it clear to you what is NAT flow? In the simple word you can say NAT flow is used to monitor incoming and outgoing traffic going through router switches and firewall. Done. So let me take you on the interface F0 slash 0. See I am going to configure NAT flow on this interface. You will configure NAT flow on the interface basis. So if you want to monitor traffic on this interface then you will configure on this interface if you want to monitor outside interface means f1 slash 0 you can configure on that interface also okay and here i am going to say ip flow ingress flow ingress ip flow and here you can see ingress and egress so if you want to monitor ingress traffic you will put ingress over here if you want to ingress means for incoming traffic on this interface and egress means for outgoing traffic from this interface so let me say ip flow ingress and hit enter and ip flow ingress suppose i want to monitor both traffic ingress traffic as well as egress traffic so say egress done guys now here you need to run one command so so ip cache so ip cache flow by running this command you can check the flows now you can see there is nothing there is nothing now i am going to ping i am going to generate traffic from router number 1 from sorry pc number 1 from pc number 1 i am going to ping 8.8.8 and now I am going to run same command. Now this time you can see there is one traffic. This one is my 
ingress traffic and this one is my egress traffic that this one is icmp reply and this one is icmp request this one is icmp request so source is 192.168.10.0 and destination is 8.8.8 .8 done and uh, on which interface i am monitoring the traffic on app one sorry i am monitoring the traffic on this interface this one is source interface and this one is a destination interface right this one is exit interface and this one is ingress interface right and you know this one is your this one is your request passes message icmp request and this one is your reply message now let's say i want to try to ping not ping try to telnet 8.8.8 telnet 8.8.8.8 so it will generate a telnet request so password is not configured and now here here you can see earlier there was only icmp traffic this is my previous entry this one is icmp traffic and now you can see the tcp telnet packet the tcp telnet packet so you can monitor tcp packet as well and ip packet as well you can uh, monitor the packet on the basis of ports number as well so this is the very basic you know uh, configuration of netflow here if you want to save your data to the netflow server so what command you will run ip flow and destination not here you will run this command on interface f0/0 here ip flow destination this command will work in i think global config mode okay ip flow and put question mark here flow export and then destination so now you can provide the destination ip address over here so destination ip address is 192.168.10.10 so it will send the traffic to this server now and there you can collect the traffic you can monitor the traffic right and you know netflow don't have any specific port number but most of the time people are using 3996 port number so you can use this port number right now i i am not going to collect the data on the server so let me say no over here i'm going to remove this command and you know i i want to show you the which user is forwarding or sending the more traffic to internet like all users are able to access internet but i want to find that who, who is the user who is sending more traffic to internet for that you need to configure what top top talker so to configure top talker see on router number one what we will do command is very simple guys ip flow and export and here if you want to define the version version also you can define version is 9 this one is latest version right after that ip flow export and top talker top let me put question mark over here wait wait this command will this command will work on interface f0 slash 0 here i am going to say and here also you can define the version ip flow export top talker no not like this this command will see ip flow and let me put question mark over here flow export here should be yes top talker here it's not showing the top talker option but you you know this is the command to configure top talker ip flow top talker and 
after that you need to define the top talker how many top talker you want to find one user who is sending maximum traffic or two user one who is sending the more traffic so you can define the number here so i want to find the top one who is sending the more traffic if you want to find the top two top 10 you can mention the number over here and range is also you can see 1 to 200 is there okay so let me find the one top one who is sending the more traffic after that sort by byte or if you will put question mark over here so you can see you can find top talker by byte or by packet so uh, user who is sending more packet or who is sending more byte information so let's say i want to find the top one who is sending more information by byte so let's say byte over here after that if you want to configure the cache time cache time out so let's say cache time is 10000 okay after that you need to match the ip address match source ip address source is let's say any source is source address any or any means 0.0.0, .0, .0. you can configure like this or you can define the ip address so let me say any over here after that IP prefix mass is say any done after that destination so match destination I want to find the user top one who is sending more traffic to let's say 8.8.8 .8 .8. so here I will define 8.8.8.8 .8 means I want to find the user who is sending more traffic to 8.8.8 .8 .8. and source is any any user who is sending more traffic to 8.8.8 .8. and mask is here we need to define the mask as well so mask is 255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.
right now i want to find the which one is sending the more traffic so i will run command this one and here you can see the user whose ip address is 192.168.10.2 is the top talker top one yes or no and 13000 byte data have sent by this user getting my point see user and source interface is this one destination interface is this one this is the IP address of user who is sending the more traffic and destination is this and there is one of top talker soon one of two soon match means two people have sent the data but out of them we have configured the top one top talker so it is showing me the top one if i will configure top two so what will happen ip flow top talker and top two and this time i am going to say so see cache is again empty cache is again empty now again i am going to send one 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 hundred packet from pc1 and one thousand packet from pc2 done now again here i am going to run so top talker see this time it is showing me two top talker yes or no this user 192.168.10.1 have sent ten thousand byte information and this user have sent 8200 byte information done guys so this is the net flow how you can configure and how it is you know it is very useful but we can run it on cisco devices only on non cisco devices we cannot run net flow it is very important protocol for network trouble shooting okay guys if you have learned something from this video please hit on like button if you have not subscribed this channel Please subscribe this channel. We will meet soon in next video. Till then stay safe. Bye bye.